Okay, this is lesson two, fifth grade. And this one is on even and odd numbers. Do you remember even and odd numbers? Odd is like three and even is like two. Yes, very good. Okay, so let's just review this really quickly, okay? There's something we call whole numbers. Okay, whole numbers. I'm just going to put the sign for numbers, okay? Whole numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, and it keeps going on almost forever, okay? So let me show you an example. If I said something was five feet and three-fourths inches long, okay? You remember working with fractions a little bit, okay? This would be my whole number because it is five whole feet, okay? This is just a portion, it's not a whole. You get it? Okay, so whole numbers are just these, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? But we're working, and I'm just trying to show you what a, what a true whole number is and that you fully get it, okay? Now, if I was counting by twos, 2, 4, 6, 8, keep going for a minute, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Very good, excellent. Okay, we're going to stop there, okay? These are all even numbers, right? And you kind of told me that earlier. Excellent job, okay? But what makes a number even? Let me show you what does. Is if it's able to divide evenly or balanced. Okay, for example, let's just take six, for example. I'm gonna take six. And let's say Eli and Isaac were down here and there were six pancakes, okay? Can I distribute or divide six pancakes evenly? Let's try. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six to represent our pancakes. Okay? Eli gets one pancake. Isaac gets one pancake. Eli gets another pancake. Isaac gets another pancake. Eli gets the third pancake, and Isaac gets the third pancake. Okay? Mm -hmm. Were we able to use up all six pancakes? Yeah. So this distributed or divided out evenly. That's what makes it an even number. That's why they come up with the name even. Okay, that's why. All right, but let's say I had seven. Now you know that three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and it keeps going are all what kind of numbers? Odd. Odd numbers, okay? And odd numbers mean that they do not distribute evenly. Okay, so for example, let's look at seven, okay? And again, Isaac and Eli are eating pancakes, and I have seven of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Eli gets a pancake, Isaac gets a pancake. Eli gets another, Isaac gets another. Eli gets another, Isaac gets another, and uh-oh, we have one left, okay? You half it. You could half it, okay? But we're just strictly talking about, is it able, as a whole number, to be distributed evenly, and it's not, okay? So this would be called an odd number, okay? So that's why they're called even and odd, because of that reason, all right? Now, did you know if I had this big number, you may not know this, Eli, but if I were to ask you which, is this number even or odd? That's a big number to try to tell about, right? So guess what you do? you look at the very last digit. And if it's even, then this whole number's even. If it's odd, the whole number is odd. Got it? Okay, so I'm gonna let you try one. Is this number even or odd? Odd. Excellent. Is this number even or odd? Even. Very good. Okay, so do you feel like you understand the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this. This is a bigger number. Even or odd? Uh, even. Very good. Okay. Now wait, don't answer this one, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. I'm going to put a new number up here. These are three numbers, and listen to my question. Which one is not odd? Four, the one before. Yes, which one is that one, the first, second, or third? First. Very good. This one is our 
first, second, third. Okay, so this one is our even number. Why? This has a four, this one has a one, and this one has a five. So when I asked Eli which one is not odd, that means not odd is even, so it's this one. Excellent job. Okay, now, that is the end of that lesson. Wow. Okay.